I hear you talk about the hustling. What was that like in Wichita, Kansas? What type of influences that you had that got you around that mindset of being a grinder and wanting to hustle? Um, I had my family. I mean, that's the only way. You know, I seen my dad struggle, seen my mom struggle, so it wasn't like we, we, we could sit around and sit around and think something gonna happen. We, we had to have it, so we knew we wanted to have a good life. Have a good life, we would have to um, hustle or, you know, go to college, get a degree, you know, do different things. But, I mean, that was our route, but we didn't, we didn't finish that route. We found another route, and I feel like the route we got now, it was the best thing because we have our own time and we get to um, be there for our kids. So I would rather be there for my kids and have my own time than me having a great, great job and I'm stressing. I hear you talk about hustle. It's pretty interesting because when I hear about hustling and things of that nature, I don't know why, but it's something around music that come that, that pops up. You know, uh, when I when I hear about hustling, not that all rappers or entertainers are hustlers in a sense, but when I hear that term hustle, that's one of the first things that kind of comes into mind with big influences. Uh, so that's why I brought up music earlier. If there was one artist that you grew up listening to or you listen to now, or maybe a, a artist lyric uh, or a song, what would that be? I mean, growing up, um, Lil Wayne was, um, at the time of my life, Lil Wayne was my um, favorite rapper, Tupac. Growing up, my, it was my dad, but me with the life change that I have made, I mean, growing of having businesses and different things where I came from, um, Nipsey was a you know big part of me me being in business and trying to make things make things happen of the lifestyle I am coming from. Have you ever tried to rap? No, I mean a little bit. <laughs> I wish I could because I think I'm. Let me hear a song. But no, I can't. I, can't <laughs> no, I ain't no rapper, but I wish I could because um, music is a big part of me having. Um, Success too. People don't realize music is the thing. It ain't. I don't have to have, listen to a, um, the you know the famous rapper you know live. It's just the lyrics. If it's you know saying somebody saying about somebody lifestyle they went through and they made it. I like that. Then the type of stuff I like to listen to. I like to listen to real stuff. Um, it, it don't matter if you coming from the rich area. If you don't. If you coming from you know. The hood uh, area. I would rather you listen to both because I came from both, and you know I made it out the hood. So I mean, anything motivated, I'm gonna listen to. Gotcha. What was the influence like? You got a twin brother, right? Yeah. So what was that like growing up with somebody that that probably uh, acted just like you in some aspects, looked just like you, obviously? Um, what was that like growing up? Um, I ain't gonna lie. Having a twin was a was a. It, it, was until and, and now it was a blessing because um everywhere we go we stand out it don't matter what we do no matter what it's like if we wasn't into business or wasn't into the basketball world we just stand out so i mean I, it was a great thing and um sport wise because we always stand it out we was blessed to stand out it wasn't one good twin and one bad twin we, we everywhere we, everything we did we was good at so it was a a great thing. I love the. I love being twins to right now. What What's one of those memories that you had, like as a childhood, just being a twin that you you often uh, reflect on? Um, really, just um. Any funny moments? Any embarrassing moments? Oh, uh, we had. I mean, taking we had, each other girlfriends. I mean, <laughs> I mean, we had stuff like that. You know, switching and stuff like that. That was probably the best thing. Um. The, the most memory when we got in trouble, we went to each other's classes. And my daddy don't play around in school like that. So we got in trouble because we got in trouble because that's one thing he didn't play with school. But that was the most thing at that. I can remember um, switching classes and um, they didn't know. So. <laughs> that's crazy. So what happened? You get in trouble? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. We got whooping for it. Cause my daddy, one thing my daddy, I told you, he, he don't care about nothing else but school. He, he, we represent him and he don't play with, with school. Gotcha. So, um, following, say, your middle school, high school career, did you play college ball? Yeah. Uh, what school did you go to? We went to uh, Independence Community College. Um, I played football and basketball.
first year. Um, decided not to go back to the second year. Um, kind of um, regret that. We. Um, what was the reason behind that? Um, getting a good, great job when my daddy was at work. That we know where my daddy was at, and really just um, being spoiled and going through, you know, going through the JUCO life was kind of tough too. And I was used to having what I want when I want to. And, you know, it was when I got to back home, and you know, everything became easy. So it was, it was just tough from that that JUCO life because it ain't meant for everybody. Uh -huh.